There are about 60,500 public access electric vehicle chargers across the United States, and just over 120 of them are in Montana. This one at the Jackson Street parking garage in Helena, and this one at Bill Roberts Golf Course are some of the newest. Well, right now, these are kind of our pilot projects. We're going to see how they go, how well recepted um, they are by the city, how well used they are by residents. And then if there is a need for more of them, we do plan to expand on that. These chargers were funded by the city of Helena and a Charge Your Ride grant from the Montana Department of Environmental Quality. That DEQ grant also helped fund this charger at the Mountain View Meadows subdivision. Like the chargers installed by the city, this one is a level two charger. It would take probably a few hours to fully charge your vehicle, but for my car right now where it's mostly charged, I could top it off in just a couple of minutes probably. While these chargers are helpful for people driving around Helena, they are not the ideal option for someone driving long distances. In terms of fast charging to kind of mimic that uh, long distance travel experience of gas stations, uh, there's right now 19 uh, fast charging locations that would work on vehicles like my non-Teslas. Ullman said there are also around 16 Tesla superchargers and there are more Tesla and non-Tesla fast chargers under construction across the state. But how in demand are these at the moment? According to the most recent data from the U.S. Department of Energy, EVs make up just a small percentage of vehicles in Montana. In 2022, there were just under 1 million light-duty vehicles registered in the state. 3,300 of them were electric vehicles. To put that in perspective, more than 765,000 were gas vehicles. That could change as more infrastructure for EVs is built, which is what the Montana yeah. Department of Transportation and DEQ are planning to do with funding from the bipartisan infrastructure law. The goal? Create a statewide network of fast charging locations um, along certain designated alternative fuel corridors. So that includes all of our interstates plus Highway 2 and Highway 93. The city of Helena is planning for more EV infrastructure too. With the push for more electric, both with residential and city use vehicles, that we do need the infrastructure in place for these EVs to support that. You can find a map online of EV charging locations through the Department of Energy. Also, they have a smartphone app for that. In Helena, Marion Davidson, MTN News.